Hello everyone. Welcome once again to Earthbound with Paula only. Paula and Bubble Monkey only. Today we are going to be trying again what we tried last night, warping to Foreside. Or Foreside Winters. We're not going there yet. Um we gotta save our friendos who've been captured at the Stonehenge base. Thank you, Skell. How's it going? Pretty all right. That's good. Same over here. It's been a pretty good day. Tired but slept all day. I feel that. I, I don't know. I didn't really sleep too great last night and I woke up super early and just kind of rolled with it. It's been it's been pretty all right. Went out for a good walk. Found some cool rocks. All right, we've got to use our handy dandy ATM card to warp us to uh, warp us to winters. Need to get melatonin again to try and reverse some of the damage. And that might that might help pretty good. Going to bed at six to seven a.m. Damn. Would I what I normally end up doing to solve that problem is I stay up until I happen to be tired at the time I want to be tired, and then I just crash. Which, unfortunately, though, if you're already used to staying up late and you're going to bed at 6 or 7 a.m., in my case, I've had to stay up for, like, two days. Not saying that I totally recommend that, but, uh... <laughs> it do doesn't work for you? Damn. Oh, these things killed me last night. I'm gonna have to put up a PSI shield when I deal with these ones, I guess. Rip. I didn't sleep either. Well, let's just, uh... Reset it. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save in winters this time so I don't have to do that. Go a night no sleep. Another night no sleep. Yeah, that's I've I've had to do that before. It gets weird just just do a mother three speed run see if you can beat my time that'll that'll help it'll it'll help keep you keep you awake for like close to 24 hours <laughs> i kind of learned that the hard way You know, maybe I shouldn't save here. I'll just reset when I die, because I don't want to lose that money. And I've already got full health, so why not? Nope, 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 nope.
No. No, thank you. I don't want what you're selling. I'm going to have to. I feel like I'm underleveled because I've been, I've been avoiding lots of stuff. Oh, hey. This is a cool place to hang out. Yeah, I've been avoiding so many monsters and stuff that I should probably try to, uh... Level up once I get to Stonehenge. I guess I could do some level grinding right here around the tent, right? I mean, they've got a free heal. Oh, by level grinding, I did not mean get ground, grinded, ground, ground up. I think Freeze does good on the Whirling Robo. Yep, there we go. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, only 10 followers away. We're getting there. I had a follower goal thing, um, but it's been stuck at 38 for a while now, so I don't know. I don't know what happened to that. I also need to update it because my goal was 50 for the end of the month, but I think that was a little, uh, a little ambitious. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll probably go update that at some point. Once I'm done with these shenanigans. Okay, so this combo of enemies really isn't as bad as I thought. I just have to be smart about it. Oh, I see. It doesn't count up unless you're streaming. That's interesting. Yeah, that's kind of a pain to... Um, to deal with. Well, because I thought I noticed it do that, too. It was, like, at 37, and then I got 38 followers, and then I went up to, like, 39 or something, and it didn't bounce up. Or it bounced up once, but not the other time. That makes sense uh, when you put it like that. I guess I'll just try that. Oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't have my shield up. Ah, it's a good thing I bought that yo-yo. I think there's an even better fry pan I can get at the store here, but like, I don't know. I don't have money. Hmm. 
like at this point in the game, since I need to use it for for teleports and stuff, I do have the ATM card, but I'm so committed to not using it. I'm like, nope, not going to do it. We're, we're just going to keep on keeping on. I think I'll go ahead and move on since I know how to deal with those enemies now. We'll at least get closer to Stonehenge. Bubble Monkey and Bubble Monkey. because I already used the pencil eraser down here last time. I don't think we'll need that. Or at least we can skip part of Brick Road. Or all of Brick Road, rather. Dang, it doesn't want to despawn those, huh? I'll take one or two. I don't want to deal with all three of them. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah, I will definitely uh, check those out and put my vote in. Since I'm back to streaming and everything, too, if we're doing a game that's good for it, at least I might do... Uh, Hop in on the multi-action. Alright. They just want a piece of me. That's fine. Oh, Bubble Monkey left the party, didn't he? When all that happened. Uh, I got the psychic shield. I'm just going to bash them.
Alright, you know what? I've had it with this thing. We're just gonna yeet it. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought there was a, a free heal bench here. I don't know if I want to save here, because there's no health point. I think that would be a poor decision. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather wake up with the people that give me a free full heal. And then uh, come down here. You have me curious, though. I, I kind of want to see what, what we got. Mario Party 3, Mario Kart 8, Mario Golf, or Wario's Woods. That, that's tough. Those that's That's all pretty solid. I love I love how there's the one Wario. There's Mario 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 Wario. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I I think I'm kind of leaning towards, uh, yeah, yeah, that was so much fun. I'm, I'm leaning towards, uh, Mario Party, trying to get, like, a full party in. Especially if we have four people. A four, four-player Mario Party 3 with, uh, <laughs> with the insane... Lag would be funny. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. I thought it wasn't going to let me through there. It was just being weird, the angle I was at. Oops. I honestly thought it would outrun me. Ooh, that actually hurt. Yeah, the golf stream. You can't really go wrong with that. Like, separate from Pit Night? Yeah, yeah, like a just a golf night, like a thing we all do. We all get together and play Mario Golf. I'm down. Do you have um ultimate chicken horse? I don't know. I think I think that one supports online play. I'm not sure. If you, you haven't seen Ultimate Chicken Horse, you should check it out. It's a lot of fun. Monster Prom, yeah, that's that's another good one too. I remember playing that. Were you there when we all played that? I think I only ever played it like once. We played like a couple rounds of it, I think, but uh only like one night. A voice per character. Fully voice act it. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd be I'd be down for something like that. There's Stonehenge. I've got to go heal up. I don't know if I have the PP to deal with this right now. I don't, I don't like where this is going. Just try to run away. Oh, they're not that strong. I, I take that back. Run, run, run. Okay, I'm not going to be able to run. I'm just going to eat the beef jerky. I feel like... F oh, freeze might not work on these because they're... I don't know, in the cold? Oh, okay. Oh shit, that doesn't do anything. That's the only bad thing about the slingshots and yo-yos is their accuracy is uh, not the best. Hop on Warframe, do some grinding. Look at all that money I can't spend. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of fun when I beat this one and I'm stuck in the post game with the debug menu. Guess I'll buy a double burger. All right. A part of me feels like I should level grind a little bit. But then the other part of me just says, Womp fit. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to get stuck here anyway, right? That's why I came here. A very large iron eraser is in the way. So now I've got to get the eraser eraser. Say that ten times fast. Eraser 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 eraser. Okay, no, that's not as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> racer, racer, racer. <laughs> I, the racer, race races. Mm. I don't know. I guess I could just... They don't do much damage. I just gotta out-bash them, honestly. No need to waste all that PP. Okay, I don't, I don't think I'm, like, terribly under-leveled. I'm just the squishiest party member. Coincidentally... The only party member. 
What the hell? They got those spawns to ambush you when you come out of there. I race racers and race races against racers who race. <laughs> Yeah, that does look wrong. That that, that sounds wrong too. <laughs> you could add races to the end of that too. I race racers and race races against racers who race races. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah once you put that into words and out of context it sounds terrible <laughs> Oh, damn it. I guess I got to eat that double burger I just got. Wait a minute. <clears throat> I should have went back to Onet, but I'm not going to go back to Onet yet because I'm not going to name every car. <laughs> But, but only the cars of a specific color. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Yeah, I feel that. Some something about uh I don't know. Something about today has just been funky. Not really bad, but just funky. I really need to get rid of this stuff. But I'm not gonna teleport yet because it's not necessary to the plot. And I don't want I don't wanna spoil it. But god I need to get rid of so many of these things. The double burger is not as good as the beef jerky, surprisingly. I thought I was going to have to go all the way back to Tucson for the, uh, for the, um, eraser eraser. I'm actually sad that I didn't get to go all the way back to Tucson for it because then that would have given me the chance to walk back to Onet and get, uh, put some of my shit away. <laughs> You beat We Love Katamari? Nice. Good job.
I'm always down to like play through some of the levels if you want. If you want to go back through any of them. Oh my god, I forgot to put a shield up. I'm so lucky. I wasn't paying any attention there. I just walked into those and being like, yeah, what's up? Oh, no. This is going to be a weird, weird section of the game. Oh, I don't need... I don't know why I'm using, like, super powerful... Um, shields. I need to use, like, alpha. Or gamma. I don't have a full party to heal or shield. It's just wasting PP at this point. Katamari stream wouldn't be bad either. I I'd be down for that. It'd be really cool if there was like um, a four player Katamari to where you get like this big old like city and you start at like different corners of the city and then you've got to like just roll up and it's like battle for who can make the biggest Katamari. That'd be the best. Maybe, maybe someday. If not the, if not the official, then maybe a mod. Oh, oh, Paula was diamondized. Okay, that's a thing. I don't like that. That's gonna be a bitch. Oh no. Imagine Katamari Battle Royale. You have like, ah, that would have to be ran on like such a wild server though. Imagine that many small objects and large objects that like so many little movable objects that you would have to put in for like 99 players to compete. You would have to probably have it on like an almost global scaled global scale like continent level like picking up entire freaking countries at once <laughs> at some point it would be so cool and in like if your katamari was bigger than another person's katamari to if it was like a so many times bigger you'd be able to like pick them up too and that's how they'd be knocked out is if you got absorbed into somebody else's katamari Okay, so this thing can diamondize me, so I just need to delete it immediately. Mooks are weak to fire? I do remember something like that in a it wasn't like on that big of a scale, but I do remember one of the Katamari games you could do uh two players, and if your Katamari was big enough, you could roll up the other person. I think it was um I think that was on beautiful Katamari on the Xbox three sixty.
That one and the original Katamari Damacy on PlayStation were the ones that, like, I played the most. God, these things are so rough. Oh shit, I shouldn't have tried that. Do you think that the... That, uh, I was thinking about how every game's got to have, like, a Battle Royale mode. Um, you think that that's what Nintendo's planning for Earthbound's 30th anniversary? Earthbound Battle Royale? How, th how would that work? I guess you would just go around grinding, like, enemies and then coming up to each other. That would be such a long play game. <laughs> It would have to be something totally different. But that... Uh, I love games that play out super long, though. So I would be all over that. It, it wouldn't even have to be Earthbound. It being Earthbound would be, like, ten times cooler. But, like, any game that's, like, an RPG but Battle Royale would be so insane. If done well, at least. I really don't know what to do about this thing. Other than, like, Fire Omega, Fire Gamma. It's dead. Or in this case, Fire Omega twice. I can't let them live at all because they can just diamondize me, which kills my party immediately. <laughs> just says, skedaddle, skadoodle, you're fucking dead. I think Freeze takes care of these things pretty good. Actually, I'm going to put up the shield first, just in case. Oh, I had an opening attack on him. I didn't think about that. I could have just whomped. I know I'm at a rough point. I don't remember the way through here. So I'm just going to be winging it. Again, another one of those spots that I would have a really hard time speed running unless I had a map. I'm going to have a really rough time um, in the end part of this cave. I guess... Mm, I'll fight this fight and then I'll probably go back for the spicy jerky.
Because I somehow have to save enough PP to deal with the boss. I guess instead of spamming freeze on the Starmen, I'm just going to have to start bashing them. Just put up the shield and then bash. Yeah, that's what I'll have to do. And then I'll save my PP for the freaking Mook Seniors. Ah. Uh. Oh, shit. Yeah, two turns. I literally just have to, like, get lucky to not get diamondized. Because if they, if their AI rolls the diamond eyes, I'm done. I don't even think that there's anything I can do to prevent it unless the travel charm works. I don't know if the travel charm stops diamondization, does it? I think it only stops paralysis. Yeah, it just makes you immune to paralysis, not not um, not uh, diamond eyes. So, I guess we're just gonna have to keep plugging away at it, and either I'm gonna eventually get over leveled enough to deal with it and one shot them. I'm already level sixty eight. Either I'm gonna have to get high enough to deal with them, or just get lucky to not get diamond eyes throughout the whole cave. I really hope those guys aren't at the end part. I'm just going to really try to avoid those spawns. I can deal with Starmen. Starmen aren't that bad. It's a stealth mission, sort of. I'm going to womp a bunch of starmen, but other than that, stealth mission. Nope. Ah, <sighs> okay. Have to kill those immediately. That's the spicy jerky. Haha. -ha.
level 69. I need that. Well, what's this? Guts capsule. Let's see, I came from the bottom, right? Damn it, I can't remember if I'm going the right way or not. Well, I guess we're going to go this way and fuck around and find out, I guess. I swear I'm so bad at maneuvering through this section. I'll go top left or top right I mean two of them run oh my god I'm so lucky so so lucky wait doesn't that just take me up the other way mm, I think I took a wrong turn I did take a wrong turn I'm going to have to take a chance and throw the shield up. Now i got to kill the mook as fast as I can. Should have put shield gamma up. That would have uh, knocked that mook down the size a bit. Got the spicy jerky. Yeah, that just takes me back up there. So... I believe I need to go down over here. I think this takes me to the next spot. Let's see if we can get a better spawn. Oh, God. That's horrifying. I can at least figure out which way to go. Okay, yeah. I think I remember this now. Oh, I don't have enough for my shield. That's not good. I'll probably just... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Alpha shield. 
And now it's a magnet battle. <laughs> We're playing catch. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Who's got the better magnet? Oh no. dead but I kind of don't want to waste the jerky that I have unless I make it to the place oh, I don't have enough for okay we're gonna shake those spawns hey that's what's up okay I swear I've been over here before I think I made it to this point and then died last time. Oh, I know I'm progressing because the damn atomic power robots. Those are the worst. Okay, we're just going to pray. Should have put. I'll put my shield up and then I'll pray and see if I can get a heal. <laughs> This is bad. Nope, I'm dead. That's okay. I think I know which way to go this time. It'll be easier. Be right back one sec, and I'll be uh, back at it again. As you can see, there's that broken follower goal thing I was talking about.
All right, I'm back. Let's uh, take another crack at this, shall we? You know what sounds really difficult would be trying to make it through this with uh, Jeff solo. Because you would have no protection from uh, from PK attacks whatsoever. I mean, I don't think the I don't think that he has a like PK shield. I know he's got like the shield defense spray and stuff like that, but I don't Wait, no, he does. He has the PSI counter unit, doesn't he? You would have to use that. Oh, I guess I guess it wouldn't be too bad. I'm sure it can be done. I, I think it's probably already been done at some point. Okay, yeah, this spits you out here, and the right goes up, if I remember right. I shouldn't have walked in there. I should have spawn hopped. Ah, uh, that's bad. Okay, it's only one of them. As long as he doesn't diamondize me first turn, I'm okay. Or that, and then diamond eyes. Oh, what? Oh, my God. It wouldn't be so bad if the diamondizing move was like a PSI move, not just a one hit and it's done. Cause the, that would mean that like shield would stop it the way that it does flash, but it doesn't work like that. I don't even think that there's a miss chance on it. That'd be a cool idea to put in an Earthbound hack, um, Medusa. Since, well, she turns you to stone. Like, it, it would work so well. These things are basically Medusa. Ah, uh, no. Except... The snakes aren't on the head, they're the legs. I shouldn't be alive right now. There's no reason I should have really survived that. <laughs> oh no, that's bad. Well, actually, that's not that bad. I got the advantage. Oh my god, I should have Omega'd it.
What's sad too is I don't think I could do anything about the diamond eyes. I can't block it. There's no stat that I think that I can boost to make it okay. I just have to not get hit by it at all. It's not usually that big of a problem. It's it's more of an annoyance than, you know, normally. Because it's like, ah, oh, now I've got to waste some more PP and use healing gamma again. Easy. Or if I brought in secret herbs. It's too bad I can't give Bubble Monkey the secret herb and be like, here. Heal me if I die. Okay, I remember the layout a bit more now. Probably going to have to deal with one of them. Yeah, that one's stuck. Oh no, I just spawned another one in somehow. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, okay, that that's the best I'm going to get, honestly. Unless, oh, okay, okay. That works. No, 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 no. They come out of nowhere. It's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Well, I'm already locked into it. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And I'm going to die. Okay. I I cannot. Cannot run into a mook senior on the way down Stonehenge. I didn't even get time to react. And it takes two PK fires to kill them. I mean, that might go up if I level up and my, like, what is it, IQ goes up. I think that helps, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to waste my bag of Dragonite on a mook. We're going to wait... For a boss. Save that for a boss. I'm going to scrub every single spawn until I get there.
Oh no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, I forgot they could do that. We are not dealing with whatever was going on over there. That looked like a party that I wasn't invited to and don't want to be. Oh, I didn't mean to use magnet. I wanted to use shield. Whoops. That one. I notice that when the Starman's using its shield, well, I guess it's just uh, doing less damage because it's not a reflective shield. I was going to say it's not bouncing anything back. Oh, good. It's just the atomic power robot. That's not as bad as the other. This thing can't insta-kill me, to my knowledge. Do that though. I'm gonna be level 99 by the time I get through freaking Stonehenge, I swear. I want the spicy jerky, but I don't know. It's my only only heal item. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna get diamondized right here. Let's find out. All right. No, uh, I've got no choice. Oh, I survived by guts. All right, you know what? I'm far enough in. Oh my god, I wasted the fucking spicy jerky and immediately got diamondized. Oh, I hate those things. I hate them so much. Ah, uh, I 
really don't know what to do. I guess I'm just gonna have to get like way over leveled, like 20 levels higher. I'll just keep pushing through it and maybe I'll luck out. I'm either gonna luck out or I'm gonna over level. I mean, if anything, at least it's level grinding, right? These are the strongest enemies I could deal with, so they're probably giving me a good chunk of XP comparatively to everything else. I'm still going to try to cheese these spawns as much as I can, though, because those things are horrible. Oh no. Ah. This is just a star man.
we go down here. We avoid that thing. Oh, that was probably a decent one. But I gotta watch the Starman on the side over there. I think that that one up there is more likely to be an atomic power. Oh, yes. All Starmen. Perfect. This is fine. I save that, but I don't know. I don't want them to deplete my health too quick. Oof. That's good. That's all good. I like that. Good level up. Hmm. Oh, this this one. This time, uh, you know, it'd be really handy right now is something like um, the Mad Gypsy's um, mementos, where like if you die, it would resurrect you. That would make the solo run a little bit more doable.
Bubble Monkey got caught out. Damn it. Oh, first turn. What the hell? wondering maybe thunder if if i get lucky enough for it to hit three times <laughs> but if i was that lucky i wouldn't be getting diamondized on the first turn either No, 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 damn it. Oh, and they got the advantage. It's over. It's over. Oh, my God. If I wouldn't have got that run away, it would have been over. 
They would have diamondized probably next turn. Be diamond eyes with those diamond eyes. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Yep, that's better. Oh, if I would have just kept running, I probably would have been, I would probably have been scot-free. Ooh, rainbow light. Really want that heal. Not that heal. Oh, no. Okay, no more spawns until I get to the bottom. At least the level up was worth. Uh, I wish I could hold items. I shouldn't have tried to pray for the extra whatever. I should have just swamped it. Like, I I'm going to have to just delete this. No, that's extra bad. This is undoubtedly the hardest earthbound run I have ever done. Of all the challenge runs or different ways I've played it and hacks, this takes the cake. Next time I do a solo run, I'm not I'm probably not going to go with the clause of uh, not being allowed to use the um, ATM card. <laughs> I think that's one of the things that's made it so hard is because like I'm stuck with what I can find and what I can scrounge up and buy. But like I can't just go to the next store and uh, and uh get what I need. I'll probably be a little looser next time I do this on the rules. Maybe allow myself to use the card to teleport more. Because right now I'm basically the reason I can't carry items is because I uh, I'm not allowing myself to go back 
until it's necessary for the story because Paula can't really teleport. So I don't want to cheat. I say as I'm basically cheating to make the run happen altogether, but still. That is a lot of XP. So at least I'll be leveling up fast. Oh no. Over. Game over. <laughs> they didn't even have to take my HP down. Mook Senior rolled a 20. Gotta be smart and have patience. It was this way, right? Yeah, okay. It was this way. I know I can get a good spawn. I just keep trying. Problem is getting rid of those ones. A butterfly. Now that's a nice spawn. I think Bubble Monkey actually makes it easier to avoid the um, the Starmen. Because they'll like warp. I think they're like warping to Bubble Monkey's location sometimes. It's kind of helpful. Except when it works like that.
Why did I rush in there? There's no way I can deal with that fight. Oh, God. Well, it's better than that. Let's see. Okay. Perfect. You know what? I'll take it. We, we can deal with the star man right now. Three star men? Okay. Uh-oh. Hmm. Slightly less big uh-oh. Spicy. Fifty thousand XP for that. I really, <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna die here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna die here. Unless... Ah? We're getting there. That's what I wanted. That means that the other thing was a mook and I have to run. Okay, no. There wasn't another thing. There it was. Okay, okay. Oh no. No, that's a mook. Oh no, it's an atomic power supply. Okay. Well, we'll just be gone with you, I guess.
Okay, so right here, I'm going to go right. I don't know if this is the right way or not, but it looked like the safest. And there's a butterfly over here. I think this is the right way, yep, because that side's a treasure or present box. I'm not going to mess with it. I just want to get through here. Okay, we made it into the depths of the Stonehenge base, at least this time. All right, we're getting somewhere. I'm not sure what items are where, and I really don't want to try to mess around and find out. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to find out anyway. I got the broken harmonica, another useless item for now. So my inventory is like permanently gunked unless I want to get rid of the bag of Dragonite, which isn't happening. So unless I happen upon something really, really good, I'm not going to get it. Wait, am I allowed to throw the broken harmonica away? You shouldn't throw the broken harmonica away. It's broken. I can't fix it. Do I look like a genius to you? You need the other guy for that. Oh, fuck. What are you doing? Go away. Oh, he's not going to despawn, is he? Okay. You know what? If it's just... Oh, wait. But these are Starman supers, aren't they? Oh, no. Oh, no. Psychic power shield. Ah, what? I hate when enemies start with shields, but I do like when my runaway chance works. Okay, so he's got a PSI shield. I should put one up too. We'll just gotta bash him to death. Okay. So it's down. Ah, uh, got me. So these by themselves aren't really that bad. And if you catch them in a group with a star man, you just got to put your shield up and, and knock them out. So again, as long as I don't get any mooks or maybe the reactor robots, I, I think I might have a chance. But then I have to deal with the boss. That's going to be a whole nother ball game. Oh my god, that's so handy. Okay. Maybe I'll come back for it or something. I might use the Dragon Eye on the boss. So I really can't think of a better time to do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah! Steal some of my PP back a little bit. I could have fought that Starman long enough to get a full heal for PP as well, but that's kind of risky. I'm going to have to take my chances. Ooh, the Starman. Okay, so because Bubble Monkey got that Starman, then I can uh, cheese past the other one pretty easy. Okay. Ah. Oh no, Bubble Monkey, no. Okay, it's an atomic power robot. That's not that bad. Okay, that's annoying. I hope this will work. You fucker. Okay. We're just gonna pray.
Yes! Ahaha! Ah, that's one way to do it. Ah, oh, thanks for the fuel supply atomic power robot. Okay, um... Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I don't know why I bothered. No, the star man. Oh no, this is horrible. I should have taken care of it when I could have. This is fine. Paula's guts became 82. Paula's guts became 164. This is great. I guess I could, you know what? I don't know why I'm praying for it when I could just, duh. Magnet from the star man. The reactor robot feeling strange can sometimes heal me. Although I keep missing and trying to get from the reactor robot. Uh. Oh, thank you. That's that's very handy. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go after the atomic power robot next time. We need to think backwards here. Ha <laughs> ha! I tricked it. Good. Oh no. And then he got it right back.
Train 3PP from Paula? That's weird. I meant to do that on the other one. Oh, it actually worked that time. Heck. Ah. Back to not working. I think it misses more often than it doesn't. No. Oh. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Atomic Power Bot.
<laughs> Makes me think of the rocking horses in Mother 3. Ah. It's not going to land two times in a row. Ooh, that hurt. Paula's guts are two fifty five right now. Oh, and then it lands.
I think 255 is the highest that'll go. Yeah, the guts won't go higher than 255. Paula's guts are now 255. Trained one PP, is that it? Starman does not have any PP. Okay, so I'm at like max health and max PP. I'm gonna run away. And did. I'm going to let those two who sit there and keep firing beams at each other. No. No breaks. Not yet, anyway. Let me go down here, right? Is this the way? This is the way. Okay. All right, we got to be extra careful here. I cannot take an exit mouse because I don't have any room in my inventory, but that's okay. I think I know what I'm doing here. I don't remember the uh, layout, though. So we're going to, again, as we've been doing, wing it. If I can cheese enough spawns to make it to the boss, I think I've got this. Being like max health and everything like that, I think I think I can do this. No, 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 no. How about we don't? No, no. None of you. That's right. Be gone with you. Well, there's the door. I don't think that there's anything else I can get. I don't know if any of Paula's good items are in here, but I can't get them anyway unless I use that bag of Dragonite. Then I can just kind of walk around. Here's all of our friendos. Bloop. Maybe I should talk to Apple Kid.
Next room. Okay, here we go. Are we ready for this? I don't know what to expect here. I don't remember if they have a shield, but I should probably put one up myself. I'm gonna try a PK freeze. Let's hope they don't have a shield. Yep, of course. Of course they had a shield. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I've got the maxed out HP. Good. I've been forgiven. Now or never. Bag of Dragonite. Yes. Oh, shit. No, that's it. Ah, oh, and I wasted the bag of Dragonite, too. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what I could have done other than like pray. Like maybe if I if I get lucky with a prayer that Starman Deluxe would uh would kind of uh feel strange or something like that, maybe. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break. Be right back for more suffering.
All right, I'm back. Let's get back to it. We got close that time. Made it all the way to the damn boss. The only bad thing is I already used my bag of Dragonite. And I don't want to revert save because uh, I've gained so many levels. I don't know what I was thinking, but this might actually work. The luck. So now I have to find a star man. Hope he doesn't kill me and sit there and pray and get my health up. Oops.
They ain't falling for it. Ay. That was risky. Level 76. I don't like that. Okay.
Okay, I got the PSI caramel. That's neat. to kill it. Need that full health though, or else I'm gonna die. At least I got a little bit of health back. Got the level up. At least the level ups here are great. I don't know at what level I'll st stop feeling that way, but... So far we're doing pretty good. I still project that... I'm probably going to be, uh, I'm probably going to be, uh, max level by the end of all of this. Military Octobot. I don't know what to do. I guess... Shield? Just in case? Fires beams. Ah! <laughs> I was close that time, too. But I don't think I would have had a really good chance because uh, I didn't have enough HP near the end. I'm wondering if the better option right now would be to go back and fight Mondo Mole. Because, I mean, I technically do need to go back and fight Mondo Mole at some point. So, I could excuse myself enough to go back to Tucson to do that and see if I could get, like, some extra level ups from that as well. And that would also give me an opportunity to get rid of all this crap in my inventory that I just don't need anymore. Maybe sell a few things and get some health items. I don't know. If we get too high level and I still can't beat it, I'll, I'll resort to that. Because it does need to be done anyway. 
eventually I will have to go back and fight Mondo Mole. I'm just going to have to chance it. I could have done better, but... Whatever. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Rip. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it. It was a trick. Nope, I'm not going for it. Not gonna fall for it. Oh, my stats are good enough. Hmm? Okay, now I'll fall for it because there's no Starman up here.
The stretch is the worst. That was probably a waste, but I just wanted to get rid of him. Didn't even get rid of him. in a hard place, huh? You know what? Let's pray a bit and see if we can get a, a heal going. There we go. All right. What's up? That's what I needed. As long as I just don't get mooked now. Ah. Oh shit, that's the wrong way. That's the present. Brain food lunch? Oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna throw... You know, sorry, PSI Caramel. If I would've known I was gonna get a brain food lunch, I would've eaten ya. Alright, here we go. Part two of three, right here. Stonehenge is a crazy dungeon because there's three whole sections and all of them are difficult. And they have their own different enemies. Oh, there we go. That's enough.
All right, we got lucky with the spawns coming down there. Okay, so we're on part three. No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's not a mook. We're we're doing all right. I'm not gonna use my PK too much for the final fight, so might as well just try to swath through it as much as I can. Not going for any of the chests. Let's just go for it again. Honestly, I think it's really going to boil down to luck. Like, I could try to use the brain food lunch to save me once. But I'm really going to have to bank on prayer. And, uh... My Psy Shield. What I need is for all of them to become confused and then hit each other. All his shield disappeared. Oof. Ah. I think I at least have a pretty good strategy now. It's just, it's a matter of getting lucky with the prayer. And then being able to stay alive long enough uh, for your shield to reflect all the star storms back. 
it's possible. Just gonna take some luck getting down there and getting it to happen. If I could stock more items, I could, I don't know, farm the brain food lunches until I have like three or four of them. Oops. Oof. Oh no. Oh, that's not a good combination. Nope. Ah, no, I didn't want to spawn that. Wait, what if I go this way? What happens if I go this way? Okay, that's just the present, but at least I can despawn everything down there.
There we go, we got a butterfly. Ah. Level seventy nine. Got the full heal from that fight, totally worth it. Probably going to have to fight something down here. No. No, thank you. We 
we go. X of Mouse isn't going to do me much good here. I'm either going to make it or I'm going to die. Hey, uh, I can't get that. I kind of want to see what the items are in here. A really nice ribbon or a fry pan would be excellent. Yes, okay, I can get this one. A broken trumpet! Let me guess, I can't throw that away, can I? You shouldn't throw the broken trumpet away. Got a broken trumpet, a broken harmonica. I'm going to start a whole broken band. I want to see what this is so I know it's worth coming back for later. Pixie's bracelet. Uh, I love the Pixie's. Is that better than the diamond band, though? I'm really not sure. I really wish I could get rid of this stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it, or... I'll look it up. I'm gonna look up if the Pixies band is better than the diamond <laughs> bracelet, because I don't want a chance not taking it. Helps keep you from being hypnotized and increases your luck. Pixie spray slit, defense 60, lux 10, luck 10 versus the diamond band. Diamond band does 50. Okay, so the Pixie's Bracelet is better. As much as I really, really want to sell the Diamond Band and get the money, I think in this situation, I'm just going to get rid of it and grab the Pixie's Bracelet because uh, I need whatever defense I can get against this boss. Maybe having the luck uh, up too will actually help with the getting a good result from the prayer. I'm not sure if that does affect or not, but it would it would make sense. Let me make sure I equip that bracelet so it's actually useful. Go. How's my health? Health and PP is looking great. Okay.
First thing to do here is set up Beta Shield. And then we pray. I'm hoping that uh, the Starman either goes to sleep or becomes confused. Oh, they're asleep. Cool. I'm just gonna bash at least once. Defense went down by 10. There we go. We got them feeling strange. Still gonna pray for more health. We got him. Oh, finally. Level 80. I swear, I've been at that boss for at least three hours. <laughs> like, this whole stream has basically been me trying to get through Stonehenge. Oh, wow. That was tough. I think the Pixie's bracelet honestly helped me. Returned it to the Onet Library. Please use the book to help the Shy Ten the tribe. All right. Oh, I would totally take your ribbon, but I can't. And I don't know if it's better than the souvenir coin. I want to check on that, too. Gives you the Saturn ribbon. So let's see. Ooh, Saturn ribbon increases luck too. I think that's a good one. This item is equipped as other. It says defense up and luck up. I don't know. Doesn't give me any info. Defense 90 plus luck 40. So that's the Saturn ribbon. Defense 90, luck 40. What does the souvenir coin do? Defense 80, luck 35. Okay, so we... We can still get the ribbon, right? Okay. So we're going to get rid of the souvenir coin. Yet another good thing I could probably sell for money, but... Whatever. The ribbon is better. And it's a Saturn ribbon. Why wouldn't I want the Saturn ribbon? 
Boing. What's up here? A speed capsule? Damn, I could use that. Oh well. I can't grab it though. I am about to go back to Onet, so I can finally clear up inventory space. I suppose I could waddle my way back down here since there's no enemies to deal with. Just to get the speed capsule. I'm going to smash that save button as hard as I can, though, when I get to the telephone, I swear. I see why exit mouse was there. That would have been quite handy. I also now I want to see what's in this box. I swear, if it's a nice frying pan or something, I'm taking it. Nope, oh, couple life noodles. At least I know I could come down here and grab that and sell it in the future. Make me a couple bucks. But I am going to refrain from uh, from actually coming back, if possible, because I feel like that might be a little cheesy, using teleport without needing to. That's a long dungeon. We've saved. Stonehenge is done. Now I've got to get to the Onet library. Alright, we're going to have to use our handy dandy ATM card to teleport. Our 
right, let's store some of the stuff we don't need. If anything, I'll keep the brainstone, because that could be useful. Okay, so I don't need the eraser eraser and or the pencil eraser. Thankfully, we can get those out of my inventory. I can hold items now. What a glorious day. I guess I better go beat Mondo Mole before I trek onward. I've gotten a lot of levels since then, so I might as well. Come back in the year 2001 to return the map. Got the shyness book. Let's walk our way to Tucson. I know I could just teleport, but, uh, ah. I'm going to try to pretend a little bit that Paula doesn't have teleport, at least until she needs to use it.
Oh well. Nothing here is too scary level anyway. I could go either way. Wait, no, I think I'm going the wrong way. I have to go the top way. I know I didn't need to do that. A little overkill. Well, that was fun, though. Oh, no, this was the right way. Okay. Hey, it's Car Painter. All right, we've got a full heal. We're going to go try to beat up Mondo Mole. Let's save it the with our $1 at the phone here. All right, now we get to attempt Mondo Mole again. I think I think I'll be able to beat him up this time. I could probably kill all the enemies in here with like one hit. If I still have trouble, I guess I could go back and try to get some food items. Although, I did just drop all of the stuff I could have sold for money. So, I might have to, oops, do some more mushroom farming. Oh, wow. I was expecting to actually have to fight the bears at least. Go 
Go Bubble Monkey. Got one croissant. Got a lot of extra defense now, so I don't know. I think I'll be okay. Oh, yeah. Two hits. Rip Mondo Mole. Who's bad now? <laughs> gonna be easy but not that easy damn Let's see, what else is there to do? I guess the only thing left to do would be to go to the Tendas. I don't really have money to buy anything, so there's not much point in trying to uh, gather items. Unless I really, really want to do the mushroom thing again, but I kind of really don't want to do that. Then again, I am about to go get stuck in the Lost Underworld, so I don't think that I'll have a way to get out either because uh, I'm trying not to use the ATM card to just teleport around. So once I go there, I'm pretty well stuck. That being said, I mean... I don't know. I guess I could do the mushroom game a little bit. I'm right here. I'm not very far. I could always do the mushroom game. Get some uh, get some money. Go buy some peanut cheese bars in, um, in Saturn Valley. And that'd probably be my best bet. Thankfully, um, in the Lost Underworld, they have those nice blue and red uh, fountains. I don't actually use them a whole lot in my normal playthroughs, because by that point, I'm usually very well overpowered. But it's going to be very useful not having life up. And having to deal with gigantic dinos. Didn't expect that to happen, jeez.
So we're going to shoot the sprout, and we're just going to defend until the mushroom hits me with the spores. There we go. Well, that's bad. I'm just gonna run. I feel like if I fight, Paula has more of a chance of just hitting herself and KOing herself. Ah. I thought I could make it. Okay, then. Get me a couple more. Let's so get a heal. Oh no. <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, that got weird.
one more. Oh, you know what I need to do um, as well before I go to the tendas? I mean, I guess I could do this in any order, but I think it'd be best if I went to Foreside and I dealt with um, Magnet Hill and the giant Plague Rat of Doom there first. Ah. Oh, where am I going? About to just instinctively run my way through Peaceful Rest Valley with a mushroom on my head. I don't need any more. Not for now. I can always come back. to Saturn Valley, and then to Foreside. That's right, you better run. Even if I don't need it, I always have a tendency to stop and appreciate the butterflies. They've always been one of my favorite parts of this game.
Whole gang's coming for me. Let's just overkill him. I'm almost there. I can squash the roaches and not have to deal with those now. When I was level grinding here, those things were a pain. Oh, I should have got my heal. I'm gonna go do that because I want to see if I can uh, sneak back into Belch's factory and sell a couple things. The more items I can bring with me to uh, the sewers, the better. Did I already do this section? Did I already get the Milky Well? I think I did. If not, I should go do that now. I don't think I did this one yet. It's a good thing I came back this way. Oh, I also have to go back to Dolam and get the uh, thing up through there with the carrot key and all of that stuff. I 
Queen of Slumber. I'll sell that. Alright, boss fight time. I think this will be easy. That's okay, I can still use PSI and pray. Fuzzy pickles. Okay, now let me go sell that coin and I'll see if I can uh, see if I can get around uh, Belch's lab, Belch's factory. See, what do you have to buy? Ooh, that's a lot of monies. Can I buy any equipment with that? Nothing here that's useful. Honestly, I don't even think I need the extra dough at this point. I just I just need to get uh, some peanut cheese bars and and uh, be on my way. Too much junk. Hmm. 
All right, I'm going to be right back for a few minutes, and uh, when I get back, we're going to take a trip to Foreside and see how far we can get.
All right, I'm back. Let's take a nice walk to Foreside. I don't know why I'm cycling it like these enemies are actually going to hurt me. I could beat everything here so easily. Hey, two dollars to get to Foreside. Let's go. Taking the bus today. I've uh, heard heads or tails that a group of people are actually making uh No, let's keep going to Foreside. There's a group of people actually making um, Desert Bus into an Earthbound ROM hack. I'm excited for that.
So I believe I need to go talk to the guy over here first. And then go see Venus. I gotta go get Venus's autograph. I'm gonna save up here at the hotel just in case, because uh, I may or may not actually get to go into the uh, the back without Ness. So just in case I've got to deal with a freeze and some ATM card wizardry. I like that background, that's nice. I just walked right around where the hotel is, didn't I? Oh, it's up this way. No? Oh, that's where fo that's where Moonside's hotel is. You know, I have money. I'll just save here. That's fine. Oops. Wasted my dollar. There we go. Now we just got to go see Venus at the Topola Theater. Ah, so they are.
Okay, cool. We don't have to have Ness in our party for that. Good. Smack. All right, let's go show that banana to Mr. Spoon. Let's just try bashing it or shooting it and see what happens. All right, fire it is. broken stuff. Oh, poisonous fangs. I don't like that. Can I get away? Okay. I gotta watch it with the poison and stuff. I didn't buy any secret herbs, so if I get poisoned, I am screwed. Ah. Guess I'll have to deal with one mouse. Oh. Sneaky. See, the mouse has the poison, so we'll just try to get rid of that. The deadly mouse. Not the dead mouse. Just the deadly mouse. Now it's a dead mouse.
anything in there, or is it just roaches and mice? Yeah, I'm not sure what else I expected to find in the sewer. I want to see if there's anything in here. Okay, so I don't need to use fire on those. I just got a hit twice. Ah. Broken bazooka. Don't need it. There's the rat. I have a chance getting poisoned now. I should have let that roll up. I think it's good. All right, play Grat down. There's the carrot key. All right. I guess I'll go back down and look through that other stuff because I technically can't teleport here. Actually, I might be able to teleport there realistically, but I'm not going to. I do want to check out that other room that was down here and see if there's any neat equipment.
That could be handy later. Aw, butterfly. Lots of broken stuff. Back to Onet we go, so I can uh, put away, I guess I'll put away the Rust Promoter and the Broken Iron. Then we'll teleport back to Delam. Use the Carrot Key, find Pink Cloud. Ah! I was just waiting for the bus. Can't you grumble about today's youth somewhere else? Oh, the bus is still there. Good. I was wondering if it would disappear. And we on the bus again.
Well, that was fun. Uh, something I don't uh, often get to experience. Because uh, by the time... By the time I really need to use the bus, generally I've already got the teleport. So I just kind of use that as my main means of travel. That butterfly was chasing after me. I couldn't resist. Hello, friend. All right. All right, I think I can go ahead and, um, I guess I could just go ahead and teleport to Dalam now. I don't think that there's, other than the the ones that I've got to do after the tendas, I don't think there's any other places I need to go. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think I think that's pretty much it. I just gotta go to Dalam now. come in here and save.
I'm hoping that this cave won't be too bad since Paula is the only one and has a Franklin badge. Oh shit. I might be okay. Ah, uh, that's rough. Got to deal with poison in here. Using 10 health. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to go back. <laughs> I don't want to die and lose any of my money. Ooh. Gotta be careful, those things are way fast. The butterfly there. I'm just gonna freeze Omega this thing. Actually, let's see if Freeze Gamma will kill it. Okay, Freeze Gamma is good for the Tangus. Ooh, quite a bit of experience from one enemy. Not as good as what I was getting down in Stonehenge, but pretty good. Could definitely add up. These things I'm totally not worried about at all. Bracer of Kings. I wonder if I can sell that. I, I wonder. I don't know if it's sellable, sellable or not. There we go. Skip past those as much as we can. All right, I'll just have to fight it. Ooh. Gamma doesn't always win. Might just stick to Omegas for now. One's better than two. Ooh, shit. No, 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 no. 
Okay, it's the kiss of death. And Paula's poisoned. Love it. I. It's okay. You know what? I'm just gonna keep going because I think I can. Uh, I think I can make it through. Oh shit, that's the wrong hole. That takes me here. Well, since I'm back at the beginning of the cave, I'm gonna go ahead and go heal that poison. At least I know which direction to go now. Oh good, you can fight the Thunder Mites right here too. Rip Bubble Monkey. <laughs> Oh, I thought I could sneak. Oh, no. Just get rid of the Tengu. Things in the background kind of look like symbols, but being warped and distorted. I wonder what those would sound like. See, this worked last time. Oh no, I just made it worse. I think I'm just going to have to fight those. I really don't want to. Ah, whatever. Just 
It's honestly not even that bad. I'm just trying not to get poisoned by the Tangus or the Kiss of Death. Both of those are kind of a problem here. And remember, don't jump in the first hole. All right, rock candy. Ooh. I think the boss is right there to the left. Oh, that's not good. Beyond. Here we are. Sixth. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. That was fairly easy. Thunder and storm down. Unless I missed some somewhere. I believe that's six melodies.
All right, another short break, and then uh, we're going to stock up and head back to Tenda Village. All right, I'm back again, ready to get these last two melodies. Gonna definitely go stock up first. Let's see, where do we want to go to stock up? Got a full heal already. I need to sell some stuff. I guess I guess we'll just go to Saturn Valley like usual. Can't beat those peanut cheese bars. Let's 
Let's go sell some junk. Sell the sudden guts pill. No can buy that. Okay. Okay, um, I need to get rid of the Bracer of Kings, so I have no use for it. I'm not going to walk all the way back to Wanette and then back to Saturn Valley. We know I can make it there with full health. I'm just going to warp. If I had teleport, that's what I'd do. But then again, if I had that, I would probably also have Escargo Express's phone number. <laughs> So we're just going to make it easy. Back to Saturn Valley. We can buy more peanut cheese bars. I wish I could have sold the Bracer of Kings. That would have given me so much money. One secret herb. Okay. Easy peasy. Now let's, uh, let's get to the Tenda Village. Right. Leader of the Tenda tribe read overcoming shyness to everyone.
All right, I think we can move on here. Yeah. All right. Before I go down the hole, though, I think I'm going to have some tenda tea. I don't want to miss out on that. Hmm? Oh, that's this one. Have me some tea. All right, we have finished our tea. Time to go down into the hole. I'm pretty well stocked up on items. I think I got this. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let's just try freezing it to death. Ah, oh, it's got a psychic shield. 
Oof, these things are rough. Ooh. This might be difficult. Uh, see if I could find something that does lots of damage. Oh no, it's got a psychic shield though. But wait. Won't Thunder still hit it? Yeah. Oh, nope. Okay. We got rid of the shield, though. Give it a good freeze. Oh. I don't like that. Maybe that's what I've got to do is fire. Oh no. Can I run? Okay. Ooh. Okay, so it's not that way, not down the hole. I'm gonna have to use this situation to pray. This should be good. Might as well try to get full HP, right? They'll eventually uh, end up defeating themselves. Hey there, Avenge. Uh, just going through um, just uh, underneath the Tenda Village on my way to Lumine Hall and the Lost Underworld. Only two more, two more uh, melodies to go. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, too. I love the text on the wall. Ooh. 
a weird balance um, in here with Paula only because the uncontrollable spheres are really hard to deal with but the conducting spirits are nothing mainly just because I'm the only one with a Franklin batch and the night pendant so flash doesn't do anything either Okay, I'm not gonna bash because I could end up uh, hurting myself that way. I am kind of wondering if, was I going this way or the other way? I was in that battle for so long I completely forgot where I was. Recommend against praying while confused. What what happens uh praying while confused? Does it have like worse odds or something? Or do you mean just in general? Because... I don't know. Fobbies. Oh yeah, accidentally reviving the entire enemy team. I've, uh, I got stuck. I don't know if you were watching when I was in, um... Stonehenge for like three hours earlier. I think it's because I tried, I did everything out of order. Um, I just immediately went to Stonehenge when I could. And some of the fights there, I was like sticking it out to where I had the enemies confused so they would like hit each other. And then, I don't know, there was this one fight. It was a, it was a Starman and Atomic Power Robot and I prayed and got everybody confused and nobody would die. And so I was just sitting there using Magnet and like farming HP and PP for I don't know how long, probably like 10, 20 minutes at least. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I'm going to have to go back and look at that later. The Diadem of Kings. Stonehenge was a particular demon because uh, I couldn't fight the senior mooks without... Ooh, without getting um, diamondized, which just immediately ends the fight. Like sometimes they just turn one diamondize you, and it's over. The Fobbies are boring. Oh, 
thought that would be enough to kill them all. Yeah, I mean, even even if you do have all of the healing and stuff, you've got to deal with uh, the PP setback every time someone gets diamondized. And I don't think that the diamond eyes has a fail chance. It's like if it looks at you with the eerie eyes, you're done. <laughs> Bubble monkey. <laughs> I'm a little scared that uh, Lumine Hall might crash without Ness present. If you find out, definitely let me know, because uh, so, so far, every time it's happened, it's been uh, it's been like 100 percent. Right, I guess I'm supposed to fall down this hole. Oh, did I already do that? Ah. Oh, no. This fear is the worst. Oh, that's not enough to get rid of the shield. I thought it would be. I've already been here. Okay. So that and that lead to the same spot? Let's see if we could just delete the fobbies. I could just easily deal with that. I might as well go get a free heal since I'm right here.
Okay, so that takes me there. Is it this way then? Yeah, it's this way. This looks familiar. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I don't I don't think it's as bad as the the mole cave. But uh I always get lost in the mole cave. Luck capsules, probably worth it. I wish I could drop that. Shouldn't throw the Diadem of Kings away. A luck capsule? Uh, luck is really good for the prayer, though. That's a good way to do it. Once you get it stuck down to, you know, basically muscle memory. I actually used to have so much trouble with that part as a kid that I would have my mom help me with it. That was like the one part in the game that I always struggled with. <laughs> it's not it's not too bad now. But I still end up going the wrong way a few times and circling around. I'm like, damn it, where did I go? Lumion Hall is very, very similar to. I think today was the fi finally the first time I ever actually figured out um, Stonehenge, like... I've got the layout memorized now, having to run through it so many times earlier. Let's see if I can cheese this out. Mm, nope. That's two enemies in one. No robo. Which green spot you had to turn at. Yeah, sounds about right. A lot of the times I'll like, I don't know, second guess myself or I'll just just kind of know. I'll be like, OK, it's not the first one. I know it's not the first one. <laughs> it's usually the second one. You know, maybe I should be smart this time and give myself a shield. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. Now I'm just deflecting everything. Ooh, my shield's gone. Okay, I think I'm gonna kill it in one hit next. I hope. Come on. Ah! Oh, I knew that was coming. Oh, damn. I thought I'd be dead by now. Eat my last peanut cheese bar.
Oh, that's not good. Okay, I hope that one of those... Okay, good. I think I can get some health out of this one. I'm just going to have to pray for health. Literally. Speed went up by one. Okay. There's a ladder up over there. And there's a ladder up over here. We'll go with my logic from earlier and say it's going to be the second one. Actually, they don't do much damage, so I think if I can bring it down to one. And then pray for some health. Obviously, drained its own HP. Maxed out HP. Oh, not anymore. Should have... Um, well, I'll just pray again until I'm full again. You'd think that 120 HP would have been enough to knock the sense back into me, but, you know, I guess not. There we go. Just had to get that extra four from the Fobby. That'll do. I don't want to drain any more PP here. Good XP here from the Fobbies, that's for sure. All right. We're at the end here. Is there any neat gifts? Yeah, thought so. Got the rabbit's foot. 
Must be equipped on your body. Protects you from paralysis. Increases your speed in a big way. Defense down, though, and I kind of like having the knight's pendant. The knight pendant. For its flash resistance. Electro Spectre. Can't remember. So I'm going to shield first. Oh, good. Elect yeah, Electro Spectre. Oh, what? Oh. That's not good. I don't like that. There it goes. Now it's now it's deflecting properly. I'm just going to pray. There we go. Let the max out. I think they have a PSI shield, so I'm just gonna... I don't think Electro Spectre can hit me at all. Electro Spectre became tame. I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh no, I remember. Okay. All right, let's see if the cutscene doesn't crash the game. I mean, if anything, I know it's a pretty easy boss fight once I get there, so. If it breaks, which it might. So pretty.
Alright. Got the melody from Lumine Hall. Oh my god, look at Bubble Monkey! Bubble Monkey is huge! What? <laughs> Oh yeah, giant bubble monkey. Yeah, I gotta remember which way I'm supposed to go here. Bubble monkeys bigger than the trees. Case of danger, evacuate here. Blue springs are for health, red springs. Are for healing paralysis or drying out poison. That's good to know. All right, we are officially saving in the Lost Underworld for right now. We're going to keep going, though. I'm not done yet. I don't know how much longer I've got in me, but we're safe for now. Oh no, don't you mess with me, I got a giant bubble monkey. Okay, so at least two PK freezes will will do that for the wet masaur. Oh, brain food lunch is good though. I really don't need. I don't need the rabbit's foot. Another wetnessor. Oh no. I think we made it to the where we need to be. You know what? I will stay. Because I know I could use the heal.
the holy fry pan. Too bad I can't buy it. Unless... Yeah, I know I can't sell the Diadem of Kings. We got giant step, fully put steps, milky well, rainy circle, magnet hill, ink cloud, seven, lumine hall, and fire spring. That's the last one. We gotta get that one. Feed the dinosaurs in the cage. Is this the cave? Or is this the... This is the... The Beatles cave. Cave of the present? The Cloak of Kings. Got a pretty good amount of health and stuff. As long as this dino doesn't mess it up for me. Uh, I should have tried to despawn it or something. Two freeze gammas and a couple bashes will will do it. Or freeze omegas rather. A little worried about Fire Spring because I know this is a tough section. Another one of the ones that I don't remember the uh, order on very well either. Aha! Might be a good thing that I don't have so many people trailing behind me. Ah!
Oh, that's not good. See, they have a psychic shield. Try to break it down. Ooh. I should have used the secret herb, not done that. Run, run, run. Okay, I got away. Good. I don't even know if that's an item I can use, and I'm sitting here dying for it. I'm not allowed to use the secret herb to heal my paralysis. Oh, that's fun. What the hell? That's so many enemies. Oh. No, 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 auto fight. Ah, that's okay. Just reset. Oh, what the fuck? That's weird. Oh, that was uh that was a very interesting glitch. I'm gonna have to screenshot that and and uh use that for something. That was cool. Ow. Screw it. Yeah. Yeah, you saw that too? Let's see if it's still like that. Ah! Uh-oh. What? Run away, run away, run away. Okay, I ran away. What is this? Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. This is... What the heck? I don't want to go into the door just yet, because this is... This is neat. What happens if I put text on the screen? Whoa! The menus! The menus look so cool! What is this? What? I was like, I'll reset. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, pray, I guess.
Yeah, I think I might have broke it just a little bit. Ah! Okay. Well, ooh, spicy. Okay, let's see if dying fixes it somehow. That was weird. I wonder what what would have looked like if I would have made it into the fire spring. Oh, but I don't have any PP. I probably should try to reset again. There's no way I'm going to make it through. I mean, I guess I could try. Let, let's see if I can make it through without any PP. Yeah, I don't know about that. That just takes you up there, so you have to go right. Let's see if I can at least try to figure out which way I need to go. I should not have survived that. Wow. I'm like almost dead. Got a little bit of PP. I'll just reset. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, thank you for clipping that. That's awesome. I think that's that's actually my first clip on uh, on Twitch. Okay, I'm going to try that reset again. No, not auto fight. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so for some reason when I when I reset to this save file specifically here, it just freaks out. These things are tough. Got rid of that thing. And we are still busted. I can't even see where the enemies are that I'm fighting. Sorry, hold on. My cat's being silly right now. There you go, buddy.
Oh, I forgot about that. I think one more will do it, though. Yep, okay, good. All right, let's try to go into Fire Spring now and see if it fixes it or if it bugs out more. Okay, ooh. Okay, so going into Fire Spring fixes the main graphics, but the menu graphics are still messed up. Honestly, I like this menu theme. Can we get can we get a hack that like makes this the default theme? The missing no theme? Missing no flavor. All right. Looks like I was going the right way last time. Ah, no. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to have to run. Run or pray. Nope. Too late. I'm dead. We'll see if we can just get a reset. It'll be fine. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to copy uh, copy that save file. Well, remember that the third one is the the borked one. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can figure out why this happens. Okay, I see one wetnosaur over there. I'm gonna try to despawn him. Actually, that's a chompasaur even. We're gonna despawn you. I'm also walking very slowly. I don't I don't think that I normally walk this slowly in this area. I know it's like a little slower, but this is just weird. I think it has to do with loading the saves with Bubble Monkey Sprite. That's the only thing I can think of that's super out of the ordinary here. Is that it's loading like a different resolution sprite than it normally does. And so it like might skew the rest of it. Honestly, Psy Shield is probably my best friend here. I guess I could go with Alpha for these ones simply because I don't need to reflect it. It's not going to hurt. Uh oh.
Oh, I'm numb. That's not good. This is going to be another one of those situations where the status effects are going to do me in. Oh no, I forgot to put my shield up. Run. Nope. I so wish I could use the secret herb. Okay, I can take care of these ones easy. It's the psychic psychos that are kind of a trouble. Ah! Whoops. Messed that up. I'm dead. Oh, maybe it's because that's weird. It's like I'm spawned on an enemy. That's weird, because I should be in the safety zone. Why Why is... How am I fighting Chompasaurs in there? And so many of them, too. This is interesting. Takes two Omegas and a Gamma Freeze to kill the Chompasaur. Oh, that's weird. The Chompasaur that was over here looks like the one I just fought, I guess. Is it gone? I don't think I despawned it. I think the collision is just 
funky. I can't see how much HP I have. Okay, that works. At least the status menu works. Yeah, I've got I've got to like cheese as many spawns as I can now. Ah. I want to try going this way. It seems entering the battle in the fire spring fixes the menus. Oh, hey. Cherub's band. Better than the pixie's bracelet, looks like. I'll take it. I'll take that defense boost. Pixie's bracelet might give me extra luck, though, so I don't know. Perhaps I'll hold on to it and store it just in case. I'll just have to fight them. I think this there's a hundred percent chance or something in here. I just gotta keep an eye on my shield. Ah. Uh... Oh, good. When I deflect, it hurts the ghost. I should probably beat up the elemental. Oh no, I didn't have my shield up. Oh, that sucks. There we go. I made it. Oh, I got out of there. Oh, I don't like this very much. I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't think there's any way to not die here, so I'll just see what happens. I should have maybe tried Fire Omega.
<laughs> Immediate Chompasaur. <laughs> no problem here. None at all. If I go back out, is it fixed or is it still messed up? Well, there's an ego orb out here. Yeah, it fixes it when I go back, other than the menus. I want to see if Gamma will get rid of these. Nope. Oh no. I thought that would kill it. Honestly, with this setup, I'm kind of, uh, An Omega and a Gamma. Well, sometimes the Omega will uh, will take care of it. So I think, like, just one Omega, and then if I can land a hit on it, then I'm good. But I think what I'm going to ultimately have to do is I'm going to have to go away from this spot and heal. I mean, I've got the save file copied, so it should be... Uh, it should be the same um, on the other one. But I'm going to have to, like, go back and heal. Because it's it's going to force me every time I load in to fight two Chompasaurs. And that's not good for my um, health and PP. So I might try to just go back to uh, where they're running the inn and stay for another night. These things take two freeze and a gamma, to, or two um, two omegas and a gamma. We'll see if I can make it back to the. To the end like this.
The map is surprisingly stable. Something I think I've noticed, unless I missed it, I don't think that they've been... Uh, ooh, I need to run. Oh, good. I don't think that the uh, springs have been going off at all. And I bet that's because Ness isn't in the party. It probably tracks Ness's movement, however many steps he takes. But since Ness isn't taking any steps, we never get hot springs. Um. Okay, there we go. It's hard to see. Oh, there's the the base. It does not look like it. Okay, there we go. That looks normal. Ish. Yeah, no, I think that's right. I don't know. Some stuff some stuff still looks funky. There's like a black border around stuff. Oh, there's the hot springs. Okay, so my theory was wrong. I guess I'll save here because it's a little safer. And we still get the the nice funky text box it's funny because like this the the glitch effect is totally what i was initially trying to uh accomplish by messing around with the debug menu i was like oh let's see how glitchy we can make it yeah, like those little rocks and the trees and stuff. Let's despawn Chomposaurs. If I can make it all the way down there with full stats, that would be great. Oh, I could deal with wetnosaurs, just not chomposaurs. All right, let's try to save here again. I think we made it down with better uh better stats anyway. That sounded funky.
Also, I think something's a little different about the music. I swear there was something that was going on a lot longer than it was supposed to there. Maybe it's just me. Yes, okay, good. We can cheese that one. anything up here or is this just that's just that okay oh no uh. oh my music must be kind of low I usually keep it a little low for like background Do you think I should turn the music up a little bit? These things are rough, too. Alright, there we go. Let's get out of there. These two, I feel like I just have to fight. There's no way around it. And this fight's weird, because I have to put up a barrier. A reflective one. And I have to kill off the elemental first. Just a hair. Okay, I'll turn that up here in a sec. Oh, I gotta put my shield up. Alright, we got rid of the evil em elemental. If I play my cards right, right here... I can, uh, probably get a heal off of them. I just need to make sure my shield is up, and then I pray enough. Get some music up there. Is that a little better? Try to make sure I didn't do it too loud. Awesome, thank you. Oh no, why did I do that? Yeah, the music is so good in Earthbound. Most of it sounds fine, but I thought um, when I was out in the Lost Underworld, something sounded kind of funky. You did warn me, but I did just get my max health. It's a wild card for sure.
Run, run, run. Only time you've ever seen it be a guaranteed anything was in the scramble. Scramble? Ah! What's a uh, scramble? PK scramble? Oh, okay. I was wondering why that sounded somewhat familiar. The randomizer. I still haven't tried it yet. I want to one of these days. That'll that'll be another run for sure. The key item randomizer. Take about seven ish hours. Okay. As long as I don't try to solo run it. This run's already, I'm pretty sure, surpassed the 24 hour mark. Oh, no. Well, that one was close. Yeah, I I, don't, I wouldn't see why. I mean, other than like having to do things in different orders and stuff, I wouldn't see why it would be too bad, unless it like makes you fight a specific boss. Which, I mean, I guess that wouldn't be that bad. Wait, I saved over it, and it still is glitched out when I start. I'm still fighting Wetnosaurus. <laughs> Oh, or Chompasaurus. The solo runs are hard. I mean, this is the only time I've ever tried one, but it's definitely the hardest one I've done. Uh, the no equip run wasn't even... forces you to fight Gigas to win? I might actually have to grind some or something. I don't wanna... got away but with like no health well let's just see if we could cheese it
Yeah, like I was saying, I did um, I did the no equip run a while back. I didn't stream it. Uh, this is before I started streaming. That one was hard, but at least I had all my characters and ATM access and everything. Other ways to win with other settings? How else can you win? I probably should have uh, set up my shield. Okay, I still have it. This root requires Paula to pray to win. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh no. Magican route, you end up you end up by going through Magican if the settings are correct and beating Ness's nightmare. Must have Magican set as alternate win condition to do this. I'm gonna try to just get lucky and get a run. Okay, good. If I can just run from the two Chompasaurs instead of fighting them. Okay, this one I'll, I'll take out because I got it from behind. Plus two sanctuaries. This one's a bit easier. You just need to beat two more sanctuaries in your requirement states to auto win. This can't be done if you need seven to eight sanctuaries to fight Gigas. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to mess with that. That sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. I'm always trying to find new ways to re-experience Earthbound. <laughs> Hence why I've got my goal of playing through all the hacks. And apparently my newfound side quest of solo runs.
Yeah, definitely. Let me know. I'll come check it out. Hopefully if I can beat this over the weekend, uh, I was thinking about trying to play Mother Rebound next week. So, no, they they uh, released a final version sometime recent, or a release version I should say. I don't want to say final. And it looks really good. I've heard a lot of good things about rebound as well. And then Skell and I are going to eventually do a Mother 25th anniversary uh play through this is all assuming I can finish this one <laughs> now nah, I can do it it's just gonna take time Level 90. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. I did put my shield up, right? Okay, good. Oh no, I don't want to hit the Psycho yet. I need PK Fire to hit the little ghost first. There we go, Fire Beta. Oh no. Why is it not hurting the little ghost now? Oh, because the guy isn't alive. I'm just gonna have to deal with being possessed, I guess. Or I could pray. Revive the ghost guy. No. I think we just need to take care of this. Oh, no. Well, I guess we're praying more then. I'm not going to accept that. That works, I guess. Okay, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good spot to be in, I guess. Except for the fact that I'm uh, barely alive with like no PP. If I can make it to here. Okay, I ran.
Oh no. That's what I get. I deserve that. Ah. So close that time, damn. Give it another reset. I've only got maybe one or two more tries in me. I might have to uh, call it for the night sometime soon. <laughs> what? to do gamma. Thank you. Yeah, I got this. I could do this. go I know I can get this room without spawns Oh no! Oh, I had it too.
This is an opportunity. Oh no, I forgot to put the shield up. Silly me. Keep missing my shields. Oh no, the psychic psycho. Oh no, that's nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, that was silly. Why did I do that? So I think something I'm gonna do. Before I possibly call it or whatever, I'm going to uh, try to make it in there, grab that bracelet, get back out, and then go heal. That way, when I inevitably have to fight two Chompasaurs again, um, at least I'll have the uh, the extra defense to do it. Maybe it'll just make this bit easier. I noticed the run always seems to work, at least on the first one. And then I usually get this one from behind. It's like the the um, RNG is exactly the same. I wonder if the runaway works here. Okay, good. I can just run from those. Also, if I do this, then I can save time. Um, whatever, I'll just fight these. I can save a little bit of time going for the... Uh, the band. Oh, we can get an empty room there. That's good to know. I'm going to have to fight these things. Or at least one of them.
Oh, I made it to the door. I shouldn't... Ah, oh, I shouldn't do that. I knew as soon as I backed out that it was a terrible idea. Ah. I don't want to deal with this. Okay, there we go. Tiny little ghost saved some of my health? Oh no, I see. The HP rolling down froze when the ghost died and then resumed when I attacked again. This is the way, right? This takes me up. Oh no, this takes me over here to get this present. I can't use the moonbeam gun anyway. Yep, I see where I've got to go. Butterfly. Okay. All right, clean spawns now, clean spawns. good enough we made it to the boss maybe okay we are at the boss Carbon dog attacked. That doesn't help. That doesn't help either. Go. It's a diamond dog, though, or carbon dog. I'm actually going to go back and uh, stay at the inn again. Now that I have the upgraded equipment and I'm level 90, I don't want to lose that level again. Lister store PP as well. Oh, damn it. Bubble monkey's acting kind of funky. Yeah, carbon dog transforms. That's right. I actually, it took me a minute. I thought I thought I missed something, but um, no, it's actually because uh, 
I was like, wait, I forgot about Carbon Dog, Diamond Dog. Where'd they go? And then, yeah, I remembered that they're here. This is the one. Okay, so now at least once I go back, I won't have to... I won't have to try to go get that item. It'll save me a little bit of uh, effort. That dino is glitching in and out of the wall. Or at least they were... My giant monkey. Yeah, I feel like that note was ringing out kind of different than it normally does. Alright, I guess I'll fight one of you. Or, I'll try to run. Okay. I think my speed is just so much higher than the Chompa Sword that it's, it's almost guaranteed for me to run. Well, I guess I know that Carbon Dog doesn't uh, use PK, really. Just shoots flaming fireballs. That's fine. I'm just going to go straight for a Freeze Omega on Carbon Dog. Or, yeah. Ooh, that was close. Ah, uh, greed.
I wake up now? There we go. That went considerably well. All right. Oh, what? Ah, oh, I thought I was good. Oh, that's gonna suck. Yep. Knew that was happening. I'm gonna run. Run, 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 run. Good. Can I sneak through this? Gunning for that full heal. Oh no. Not that full heal. Level 91. But if I reset, then I won't keep it.
Clean spawns. Woo! Bean spawns, no whammies. Oh, that was all whammies. I don't have to worry about... Oh, there we go, we got the full heal. If I can run past everything on the way up there, we might have a chance this time. Ah. Jeez, the accuracy, you'd swear I was using the Casey bat. Carbon dog attacked. DK freeze right off the bat. just happened again to with the the ghost when the ghost dies from fire Yeah, I don't know what to do other than, like, level myself up to level 99. That's hard. Maybe, I mean, maybe freeze isn't the way to go, but it does have the solidification chance, which, I mean, it worked out pretty well last time. I mean, as long as I don't die, I have enough to um, level grind for a while. Yep, RNG is the same. Walk this way. It's going to hit green. No, no green this time. Run still works. Crazy. It's weird how consistent this glitch is, too.
Ah. Oh. I should have just ducked because this isn't a really good battle either. Love the possession, not that bad. Thankfully, possession doesn't do very much this late game. That's bad. I guess, I guess I'll just go for it. If I can beat one, then I can probably get my way up there. somehow. This is the best health I could make it here with. We do have a super bomb. But I'm going to wait on that. Yeah, that's probably the best move just because it's got the solidification chance. Food is really what I need. I don't have any way of healing myself right now. Okay. I think that th this is probably where I'm going to have to call it for the night. Actually, let's let's keep going for just a little bit, but I'm going to level grind. I can't I can't uh I can't beat Carbon Dog with this current level. There's no way. To reset. I've got enough in me for one more um one more uh Night at the Inn. I'm gonna run from the Chompasaurs. I'm just gonna grind in the inside of uh, Fire Spring for a little bit. Well, I'll take this one on. I got an easy, easy win here. Unless Carbon Dog is 
weak to fire. It doesn't seem very weak to uh, to the um, ice. Like I'm using Omega and it's only doing like 300 damage. But I don't know if it has fire resistance either. Currently level 90. Ideally, I'd like to get to max level and then get some health restoring items, but I don't know. I think I might stay on ground floor because the enemies here are really easy and give quite a bit of XP. Ooh, I could go back to the... Um, shop guy and sell the pixies bracelet though and that'll give me enough for one more sleep hope I can get myself up like a few levels or something Oh, my shield. Right. Okay, yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Oh no. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, that didn't go very well. I can't. It didn't give me a uh, health. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Hot spring energizes you completely. Oh, I can do that? Whoa. See, that's how little I've actually like utilized those. Most of the time I just blow right through this part, except for the fire spring and then I just get stuck right here. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and save again since I've got to level up. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep doing that for a little while and then uh, eventually I'll go back and take it on again. That's good to know. I don't have to worry about having money for the heals then, which means I could go try to get something to eat. Realistically, I should go back to Onet and get rid of the these things so I can get more stuff. We'll do that in a little bit, or next time I play. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way through Fire Spring tonight. Unless I just, like, run through and then get stupid lucky. If I can't even beat Carbon Dog, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat Diamond Dog. Doesn't Diamond Dog diamondize you too? That's not 100%. Well, that, that's good. I 
If that lands though, it's an insta kill. My best bet, honestly, is probably to grind to level 99 and just go for it then. Go stock up on some food items. Oh no, I died. That's okay, honestly. I'll just take the XP and the loss. First, I'll just go back out to the other part and uh, back to Tucson and get me some mushrooms. torn because I don't know whether I should just sit back and level grind or I should just keep trying for it. Honestly, grinding is the safe option. Maybe I don't need to get to level 99. Let's like at least try to get to like 95. It seems a little early to max level, but then again, I might just have to. Speed capsule, I'm just a bottle of DX water. getting reckless. Oh no.
Just PK freeze this guy. Oh, there we go. That's a great level up. Ah, so good. Let's go heal. Thank you. 
How close am I to level 93? Almost to level 93. I think that's going to be my uh, end of the night goal right there. Get to 93 and then call it. All right, we're level 93. That is what we set out to do. Let's get to the spring and heal up. Save and all that good shenanigans. All right, yeah, I think that's where uh, that's where we're gonna call it for tonight. Revenge, thanks for uh, for hanging out and uh, for clipping that crazy glitch we found. I'm gonna take off and get some rest for the night. T tomorrow we got uh, pit game nights with Skell and the group there. So uh, probably won't get around to much earthbound, and, but I'll try to hit it over the weekend, see if I can finish this thing by Monday. For now, hope you all have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>